Hello clever people and welcome to this Q&A video. The question today is by Markipedia86. Since long-range surface-to-air missiles like the S-400 are large and heavy, wouldn't it be better to just put a small missile like an R-73 on top of another missile that just transports it near the target? The small missile with its own rocket booster should be better suited to hit a small fighter jet doing evasive maneuvers. Okay, interesting question and legitimate doubt. So why they don't put small missiles on top of boosters? Well, actually most of the missiles of the large and the heavy air surface to air missiles have two stages and actually the second stage is much more nimble, much more agile than the whole missile during the boost phase. For example, here we have two very famous surface to air missile. I didn't have any suitable picture for the VDA of the S400, but this will do. As you can see, the extended range standard and the Aster 30 are both two stage missiles, and you can clearly see that you have a small missile on top of a large booster. Obviously, the missile can maneuver while the booster is firing because otherwise, it would be a severe limitation of a minimum range of the missile. Definitely, both of these two quite common surface to air missiles are exactly as you have described a small missile on top of a booster what in this configuration is the second stage then it is operated also as a standalone missile in particular for example the aster 30 is made by a booster and the missile on top is the aster 15 a surface to air missile in its own devices with shorter range that is used for self-defense by units that don't have um, I mean naval units that don't have such a strong air defense vocation but it is perfectly viable it may be interesting to know that the missile itself and the particularly the guidance package is derived by the package of the Mika French missile which is accredited to be very effective and uh, it is somehow related to the guidance package of the Meteor missile which is probably one of the best if not the best uh, air to air missile in existence today so summing up to answer your question why we don't put a small missile on top of a booster? Actually, we do. You may be happy you have seen it right. Okay, if you like this video, I'm sure you may like also the videos that are going to appear on the screen now. In the meanwhile, please like, dislike, subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss anything. And if you could, consider supporting the channel on Patreon. That would be amazing. In the meanwhile, thank you very, very much for watching and goodbye.